man, what's up everybody? I guess I'm back for more crushing again, man. I just said that that damn spring, that damn spring just shot clean the fuck out of there. And I just said that. Damn. Woo, man, it's a good thing wasn't nobody standing right there because that would have been one hell of a hit. Man. Damn, it would have been one hell of a hit if somebody was there. Sometimes I hate when they take those suspensions out sometime, man, because those springs do. When those springs bust out and hit you, all I got to say, man, it's going to hurt. But if it's going to hit, it's going to swell up. I, I, that's a guaranteed fact, man. It's a guaranteed fact. Had a, had, a, had a guy, Pedro, who used to work with me some years back, had the same incident happen to him when he was working with another loader driver. Exact same thing happened. He was uh, the car was crushing, and bam, the fucking spring shot out, man, and shattered his hand. Yeah, man, that's just that's just nothing to that's just nothing to play with. If I can fit this one off in here. Which is 
fat probably got so much shit on the inside of it, it ain't even funny. Take it out the fucking screws. Man, I hope I don't have nothing in my damn time. I'm gonna be pissed if I do. So like I said in my previous video, man, Wednesday I will not be here. I mean Thursday I will not be here. I will be on vacation. Man, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this right here. I gotta I have to stop myself sometimes. 
That way he can push the car in because sometimes, man, with a lot of weight in the front or the back of these cars, man, with no motor, it'll make it'll make the car, it'll make the van go whichever way it wants to go. So now I gotta try to pick it up another way now since it wants to try to go another way. It wants to try to fall backwards. So that means there's gotta be a lot of weight in the back of it.
got a little cleaning to do. Not that much, but still. Any little bit of that shit right there give me a flat in my brand new tire. So I don't want to hear boss man bitching and crying about another tire again. Even though he did spend $1,800 for me. Two brand new tires. This right here is a little time to some apart right here because of these some of these gas tanks, man. We having so much gas, but then some of them don't even have none at all. So sometimes it go pretty fast, and sometimes it takes a little time, especially when the full tank of gas. You see, shit a while back, these guys right here they used to take. You know, a lot of these, uh, a lot of this gas out of these cars and actually use them for uh, for their personal vehicles. But I wouldn't recommend using used gas to put in your cars. I wouldn't recommend it at all, unless you have something that's you know old school. You know, what I'm saying that has a carburetor and that and that could burn any and everything, and it doesn't have that sensitivity uh, fuel injector like. Some of these new model cars do. They got that fuel injector that's real sensitive to a certain type of gas. And then they end up messing up. Then you end up spending four, five, six hundred dollars for a brand new fuel pump. So it's not even, it's not even really worth it. To me, it's not. The last time I put some of that shit in my Lincoln, got an old school Lincoln 98 Continental V8 big block. Still purrs like a kitten. Drives like a brand new Cadillac. So one time, man, I ended up filling up the tank with some of this used gas, but it was good, clean gas. Good, clean gas. And I ended up putting it in my car. Drove around for a whole week on it. And by the time I got down to like the sixth day, shit, well, I ended up having to spend five hundred dollars for a fuel pump I had there to spend five hundred dollars for a fuel pump for a fuel pump and that's just saying I didn't really have fun doing it man cuz oh man it was a pain in my ass and then whoever whoever switched it out before me before I got the car cuz this I got it for my Ex old lady, uh, dad, she, you know, he passed it down to me because he didn't really want it anymore. He got himself a new car, so he passed it down to me. I took it in my hands and took really good care of it. And then, like I say, then, like I say, I put that bad gas, well, not bad gas, I put the junk gas in it, what we call it now, junk gas. I ended up putting that gas up in it. And, like I say, with on the sixth day, I ended up spending $500 for a brand new fuel pump. Brand new fuel pump. Then what's so hard about it is that AutoZone and O'Reilly's didn't carry that make a model fuel pump, so I had to travel around Dallas to find a warehouse that that carries nothing but just fuel pumps for all make and model cars. And like I said, it took me a couple hours to find it, but I finally found it. But like I said, I wasn't happy with the price on it.
Let it be two lows for me today. Another day, another dollar. Tearing around my neck. 